is up everybody welcome back to the city light project youtube channel and this time for a unique fight companion the first ever rewatch live stream here on the channel that's right we're going back to 1997 for pride fc1 back when it wasn't even called pride fc back when it was shoot when this whole event was created so that the gracies could fight Takata. I mean, this was such a historic event. This was a catalyst for some of the best mixed martial arts that we have ever seen in our lifetime. And if you folks have not seen any of the Pride events, well, I put the link. It's on YouTube. You can follow along. I just press play on my screen now, and we're going to get into... Uh, I'm so excited for this, folks. Pride FC. And I figure, you know what? I'm going to do more streams on this channel. It sucks that, like, you know... MMA, it's only every weekend. It's only every weekend other than like, you know, a Wednesday in Victor or something like that. Very rarely do we have MMA midweek. So I figure if I can do it, I'm going to start going back in time and we're going to start streaming older promotions as well throughout the week and obviously continue to do live events as well. Since I can control this, this one, we're about to get into the first fight here. So I encourage you all, if you haven't already, hit up the link. It's in the chat or just search on YouTube, Pride FC1. The whole event is on the UFC Fight Pass page. Or if you have Fight Pass, you can check it out as well. If you're new to the channel, what is up? Welcome. We post vlogs. We post fight reaction videos. We post shorts. We post music content, fight prediction. Most importantly, we do live fight companions to live events every single Single weekend but hey it's a wednesday it's a wednesday and to be perfectly honest folks this weekend i'm so busy with other commitments i have i'm hosting a live podcast tomorrow at a brewery it's the minnesota high school hockey state tournament on friday then saturday it's my uh it's my room roommate and, and good friend's birthday and we're doing a whole pub crawl so like i'm just out of commission as far as streaming the big hitters yes i know i'm disappointed no glory no bellator no ufc but we are doing a few live streams on this channel this weekend as well. So please check the community tab. I did post the schedule. I'll get right to your comments here and then we'll get into the first event. What's up, Living with H? It's good to see you. Yeah, man, back in 1997. What's up, Grant Gregory? Doing a rewatch stream. Yes, indeed. Back before Pride was a part of the Yakuza. This is very exciting. What's up, Craig? And yeah, guys, let me. I know a few of you wanted me to do these. Um, so we're doing them now. We're going to start doing them every single week. Whenever I can fit into my schedule, we're going to go back. I mean, hell, I was thinking we're going to go back and do some WEC. I mean, what other classic promotion? Strike Force, as well as the live stuff. Uh, interesting, interesting idea. Wish I wasn't working. Invicta sucks ass. Let's be honest. Yeah, but it's International Women's Day, so I resent that comment. I resent that comment. We support the women fighters here as well. And wait, where did Alexa Grasso come from again? Where did Alexa Alexa Grasso come from again, Jaden? That's right. That is right. Make sure you give time codes for people following along. Oh yes, I will. I'm gonna try. There's no. Uh, there's not really any number on the screen here, but I'm gonna be going full play by play, and we'll get the the first round up here on the screen folks shane just got here as well uh time good should be incorporated from now on helps so much um i don't know how i'm gonna do that but we'll, we'll try we'll try uh what's happening what's up guys what is up average f5 and oh shit some fight flashbacks i love it uh man wec would be awesome as well yeah i mean all the wec all the strike force, they're all on fight pass so we're gonna start doing a few more of those as well don't get me started isha on grasso bs i mean she won what what type of bs is that she won valentina made a mistake valentina lost us all money and grasso pounced all right um we're getting into this first fight here folks first fight in pride fighting championship before it was even called pride fighting champion i mean it was called pride but it was it had a whole other name which was what was it krs pride yes because this first pride event was made so that takata could fight gracie so the fighters are being announced in the center of the ring right now i just press play we are at two minutes into the stream ladies and gentlemen the pride uh, one full event replay 215 to be exact so sync up with me sync up with me and let's get this show on the road i mean at this time uh kazunari was a three and three fighter john dixon i believe was three and five and round one let's get it all let's get it on and right away right away folks dixon's rushing getting him into a locker dixon actually threw a high kick 
And Dixon takes his opponent to the ground. Right into the full guard. Right into the full guard is John Dixon right now laying on his opponent. I mean, this is pride, ladies and gentlemen. So the weight difference is absolutely crazy. Still in the top position here is Dixon. Half guard now. Not doing anything but just laying on his opponent. Again on stream, folks, we're three minutes and 11 seconds. Still in the first round here. Dixon in the top position, still just kind of laying on his opponent, not doing really anything here. Dixon, again, 100 pounds heavier than his opponent. Some body shots here. Dixon back up to his feet. What's up, Gravedigger? Fire up the Pride 1. We're at 3 minutes and 38 seconds of the stream. Or of the Pride video. Back up their feet here. Dixon walking forward. Nice right jab by Murakami. Going for the single leg was Dixon. A nice judo throw by Murakami. Murakami. Looking for an armbar. He's laying punches to the stomach of Dixon right now. Going for the armbar. Going for the armbar. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. And that's it. Ah, that's it. It's all over. Just like that first fight of one, or I was going to say one championship of Pride FC1. And John Dixon over and out. A hundred pounds heavier than the judoku practitioner out of Japan. And John Dixon gets armbarred. Beautiful takedown. I mean, my goodness. Makamuri throwing down his opponent like crazy. That was nuts. Back to the comments we go here. Again, Pride rewatch stream here, folks. Excited to have you folks along for the ride. Four minutes and 43 seconds of the video is where we're at right now. Invicta is still so boring to watch. I like it, but hey, Twitch their own. Twitch their own. I I, I support women's MMA personally. Um, blah, 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 blah. You can't see on StreamYard, but I did a member's message. Uh, Murakami's a legend that doesn't get enough respect. At a boy, at a boy, what's going on, buddy? Wait, wait, is Pride back or something? No, no, no. We're just doing a rewatch here. We're doing a rewatch, and that's why I threw the link in the chat, or you could just look it up. UFC Fight Pass YouTube page has the event for free. We're at five minutes and twenty-eight seconds of the video. I hope you guys can. Follow along as well and talk amongst yourselves in the chat. I mean, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Theo, obviously not. This was uh, this was broadcasted as per the description, folks. 1997. We're on to the second fight right now, so I will update the screen. We had some requests to do some of these streams, so we're, we're going to do them. We got Gary Goodridge up next. Good old Gary Goodridge. Again, folks, stoked that you're all joining us here tonight. We're, I just want to start doing more streams on the channel. And obviously, midweek, there's not a lot of fight promotions. Um, <laughs> Jaden does not want us to do Invicta. So, not that there's an Invicta fight. Tonight, although they should have on International Women's Day. You probably should have done an Invicta fight tonight as well. If you're following along, click the link or look up Pride 1 Full Event Replay on YouTube. We are currently at 6 minutes and 25 seconds of the video getting to the second fight of the night. I got a gap. Wish I could stay. Well, Jaden, it was great to see you regardless, brother. It was great to see you regardless. And I, I know I'm not doing the big streams this weekend. Again, I have some personal commitments, but we are doing four or three other streams this weekend. And uh, I hope that I hope to see you there, buddy. I hope to see you there. John's got signed to pride. Massive deal. <laughs> It has to be awesome to get a trophy. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all! Gary Goodridge up against Olev Taktarov. Taktarov in the blue shorts. Goodridge. Gary Goodridge, the legend in the black shorts. The Russian bear, Oleg Taktarov. His big daddy, Gary Goodridge. Nothing's really going on right now. And again, for timestamps, folks, seven minutes and 25 seconds of the video is where we are at re-watching Pride FC1. No, I know. I'm, I know. I'm, no, no, I'm, just, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. 
I, I love you, Jaden. I wouldn't. I'm not accusing you of that at all. <laughs> I just said the oh the irony since it's it's that day. But honestly, Benfica should have taken advantage of it. Oh, and a nice low kick by Gary Goodrich, but it was checked by Taktarov. And he bounces backwards. I mean, look at Gary Goodridge right now, folks. Look at Gary Goodridge. He's massive and nice. Left by Taktarov. Again, we are eight minutes into the video. Pride FC1, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Big Wig Majid. Great to see someone have respect for past MMA. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for the donation. Absolutely. We're going to go back into the vault on this channel every week. We're going to go through every single Pride we're going to go through every single WEC. We're going to go through every single strike force. I mean, if there's any other promotions that you guys want us to stream as well outside of the live stuff that we do every weekend, you let us know. And Tektara was cut right under the left eye. Again, eight minutes and 30 seconds into the video if you want to sync up with us, folks. Thank you so much, Mr. Bigwig. I appreciate the donation, brother. I appreciate the donation. Honestly, I would think you could watch the video on stream. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. The UFC owns, Zufa owns every single Pride uh, video. If I showed it on stream, my channel would be shut down in a second, brother. Oh, dude, I, trust me. No one's, no one's as sad as me. No one's as sad as me. Um, hopefully, like I said, folks, the more we grow this channel, the more I can do this literally full time. And then I won't miss anything. But, you know, sometimes life gets in the way. We're still in the first round here. Second fight of the night. Gary Goodrich, Taktarov. Taktarov's bleeding under his left eye right now. Slow-paced fight here. They're engaging a little bit. At, oh, a beautiful right uppercut by Gary Goodrich. He lands a left and knocks down Taktarov. Another right by Gary Goodrich. Gary Goodrich looking to finish his opponent here. Oh, and a nice knee to a downed opponent. Gary Goodrich laying down the hammer fist right now. And Taktarov. Taktarov crawling to get out of this. A lot of punishment by Tartarov. Slowed down Gary Goodridge on his feet. Tartarov on the ground here. Gary Goodridge looking to pounce potentially on the ground. He's giving his opponent some time to recover here. Oh my goodness, and a soccer kick. I don't know if that landed on the head. There's a camera angle. I changed cameras at that moment, but that looked deadly, folks. Again, if you're following along on the video, Pride 1 Full Event Replay is the name on YouTube. We are at the 10 minute and 15 second mark of the video. Center of the ring right now. I'll get caught up in comments in a second here, folks. Gary Goodridge. Definitely looking like he's on the ro roids here. Unfortunately, I can't add an overlay timer i wish i could on the program that i'm using back up to his feet i don't even have a round timer here folks but uh, we're working on it buddy we're working on it I'm, I'm looking to save some money so i can get an actual timer but the yeah the streaming program i use doesn't allow for video overlays unfortunately <laughs> UC seems pretty good about fan crates. No, they are not. We are. I have a sh two strikes on the channel already, and I never showed anything UFC at all, buddy. They're pretty nuts about that shit, which sucks. So one more strike, and the channel gets shut down. And I haven't even shown UFC content. I literally just made a live stream, and they, they didn't like the name. They thought the name was too much... Uh, too close to the actual event name, so unfortunately... But uh, I'm probably going to switch to a new streaming pro pro uh, platform eventually. I just can't afford the one I want right now. You probably could show the fights. Uh, well, no, I don't think I can because it's um, we're on UFC fight. Look, guys, I ain't get my channel channel shut down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and a nice right hand by Gary Goodrich, and he knocks Tartarov out. Tartarov is out. Ah, the is Tartarov is laying face down. He looks freaking dead on the mat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's crazy. I loved Oleg at UFC 6 for a while. He was my favorite fighter. Look at the trophy that Gary Goodridge is getting. Oh, my goodness, folks. If you're following us, if you're following us along here, on the video, we're at 12 minutes and 20 seconds of the video. We're looking at a replay right now of Gary Goodrich's knockout on Tuck Tarv. Keep the comments coming. You guys are amazing. I appreciate the donation. I pretty appreciate everything, guys. And again, I wish I could. Oh, on that right hand. Just a right hand. And then Tuck Tarv was out. Gary Goodrich hit him like five more times on the ground. 
1997, they don't give a fuck about the health of their fighters at this point. My goodness, my goodness. But yeah, folks, again, this is the first rewatch stream that we've done here on the channel. I'm obviously going to take your guys' feedback and uh, and try to make them better as we mo as we move forward with them because I want to I want to be streaming like I want to be streaming more throughout the week. Look, the towel was thrown even though he's dead on the ground. Like, come on now. Um, so don't worry, folks. Don't worry. We will uh, we will tighten everything up on these rewatch streams. You know, we're very used we're very much used to doing live streams here on uh, on the channel. So whether I you know switch to a new program earlier than planned, um, whether I speed up the process and maybe sell some shit and get one of those like nice timers, um, we will do that. But I appreciate all the feedback. Um, I'm just personally not willing to show any Zufa content because they will shut down the channel being stretchered out being stretchered out as Tartarov that is crazy in the second fight of the evening uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. you gonna watch Davis versus Gar Garcia this weekend my guy I am gonna watch it but it sucks this weekend I'm like I'm so busy with personal commitments as you guys know I do a hockey podcast so I have a live show tomorrow I live in Minnesota. It's the Minnesota high school hockey state tournament, which is literally like the biggest tournament in the entire state. And I'm going all day Friday, 9 a.m. to midnight. I will be at the XL Energy Center watching uh, a ton of games. And then Saturday, it's my it's my roommate and my good friend's birthday. So I'll be watching a lot of them. But as you guys can see on the schedule, there's only a handful of fights that I can stream this weekend. So I, I apologize for that ahead of time. All right, let's get the next fight on screen here. I'll be quick so you guys know miss the outcome. But anyways, so like I said, we're, we're new to doing this right now. We've never done rewatch streams before. So far, I mean, I love that you guys are into it. You guys are all amazing. You, I appreciate every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. We haven't done many rewatch streams before. We've this is the this is the first one to be perfectly uh, honest. But I want to do more streams. I want to watch more fights. I want to hang out with you guys. And I also want to just honestly show respect to some of these old promotions. The ones that really got us in to fighting, got us into the UFC. And Pride was one of my favorite ones as well. All right. Koji Ki Kitao. Oh, no, wait. This one's actually real. It looks like actually we have. Let me adjust this quickly. And then I'll update you guys on what... Uh, what fight we are on and what the time is on screen. But da, 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 what are we at now? Looks like we are at. Actually, I'm just going to go to this one right now. I didn't watch this video ahead of time, folks. So just give me one sec here. It actually looks like we're going to have. Is it Henzo Gracie coming up next here? I thought he was later on in the card, but. Uh... Anyways, looks like we got Henzo Gracie. I thought this was the main event, but uh, no, I guess not. So, okay, here we go. Henzo Gracie. We are at the 1545 mark, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is one of the first times I think we've seen Henzo Gracie fight in uh, in MMA. First Pride event. Shout out to everyone joining. Akira Shoji versus Henzo Gracie. And again, if you're following us along on the event, 1614 into the video is where we are at, and I appreciate every single one of you. All right. Going into this event, Henzo Gracie was 5-0 and in mixed martial arts. Mr. Pride, Akira Shoji, was 1-1-1, one, one and one, was the Japanese fighter. Henzo Gracie has... Akira Shoji up against the ropes. Again, if you're following along, folks, 1636 into the video is where we are at. And Henzo Gracie, legendary jiu-jitsu practitioner, very much still involved in mixed martial arts today. I saw Oleg in the corner of a fighter recently. can't remember who, but it was cool to see. That's awesome. That's awesome. The good old steroid days. It's okay, he shall help you build up Rumble. And Henzo Gracie getting the back of his opponent here on the ground, full mount. I can't imagine this is going to be much longer here. Henzo Gracie in full mount. This chaos still hurts. 
Next battle is Akira. Henzo Gracie. Yep. Got you. Got you. Henzo Gracie still in full mount here. And he's going for... Uh, looks like he went for an armbar for a moment there. I think he's going to be setting one up in a sec. Just employing some ground and pound. Again, if you guys are following us while watching these... Or this replay event. 17.38 minutes into the video. He's a long time no see. Hope all is well. Sean, peanut butter man. It's good to see you, brother. <laughs> It is great to see you, man. Or Akira Soji. I mean, he's surviving the onslaught. Full mount is Henzo Gracie right now. Good defense by Soji. He's grabbing the neck and pulling Henzo Gracie down. Guys, Boss Rutan also on the commentary, which is awesome. All right, the officials now are moving the fighters to the center of the ring here and adjusting them. Uh, short Spotlight, Mr. Grant Gregory sent me the link just sub. Thank you so much, Short Spotlight. Since you're new to the channel, we do live fight companions for live events every weekend. I figured, hey, a lot of you asked if we could do more fight streams watching old fight events, especially Pride. So that's what we're doing here tonight, and it's great to see you, Short Spotlight. I appreciate you, brother. Nice, you can skip ads. Main event is Ricks and Grace, uh, Hicks and Gracie. Yes, the, this whole card was, I don't know if you guys know the history of Pride, this whole card was made so that Takata could fight Hicks and Gracie. Oh, back take by Henzo. Back take by Henzo here, and he has a body triangle. Oh, never mind, just the hooks in, just the hooks in. Good job fighting the hands by Soji. Hicks and Gracie, shots to the left side of Soji's head here. Okay, now he does have the body triangle. He's looking for the rear naked choke. Was this the Gracie fight fix alleged one? I don't think so. I don't think so. Back take as Soji stood up to his back. Again, if you're following along with the video, we're 19 minutes and 35 seconds into the video. Short spotlight. Welcome to the community here, buddy. Grant said you collab, therefore it was an easy sub. Oh, Grant's awesome. Yeah, Grant was on our live stream last weekend and the fighters fell out of the ring. Fighters literally rolled out of the ring as the very small ropes in this first Pride event. Oh, appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And thank you, Mr. Grant Gregor, for sharing, uh, sharing the channel again. We do vlogs, music content, a bunch of other stuff on the creative side. Nice right hand by Soji here. Clinch here by Henzo. Henzo's looking to try to take this back to the ground. Body lock by both of the fighters here right now. But yeah, so we have a, a bunch of original content that we post vlogs and, and music content and whatnot here on the channel. But every weekend we do live streams. You can check. I just posted the schedule, the live stream schedule this weekend on the community tab here on this channel. And we cover every single live event that we can. Again, I'm super busy this weekend. So unfortunately, I can't cover some of the big hitters. But from kickboxing, one championship, M uh, UFC, you name it. We covered on the channel. And a bunch of people said, well, can you stream some older events? We've been getting a lot of suggestions to do that. So that's what we're doing here today. This is the first one. So bear with me. Bear with me as I get into kind of my own rhythm of doing this. But uh, I'm really excited to have you guys alongside for the ride. You are awesome. I forgot all about the rope grabs. You find the watch in one, Steve, about time. Anyways, Isha, I got to head out, mate. Keep killing it. Appreciate it, Mr. Grant Gregory, and appreciate the new subscribers here. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much to Mr. Bigwig, who donated right off the bat. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, Pride FC is the best MMA promotion of all time, and I think, folks, that we're going to literally do rewatches for a bunch of different promotion strike force wec hell you give me suggestions for rewatch streams you want us to do but we're going to go through every single uh pride one as well starting with pride one here tonight short spotlight you're a beauty buddy you are a beauty thank you so much same with counterfactual united news team let's go baby let's go so I don't even think there's rounds in this first one, or I keep saying one because I'm used to the ropes <laughs> for the last five Friday fights, but I don't even think there's rounds. There's no, there's no timer here. I mean, it's 1997. This is some VHS quality. This ain't HD. Henzo Gracie. I forget what the time limit is for the bouts. I believe maybe just 15 minutes straight through. 
Again, this event was literally put on so that Takata could fight Hicks and Gracie. That was the that's what spawned Pride. And then the next year they they had their second event. It was such a huge hit that they just blew up from there. Uh, before I go, Isha, can you say the full name of the super chat? It's massively long. <sighs> Mr. Big Wig Majig AG Lig Vietnam Ham Jam Fig Stig, baby. <laughs> what am I, a rapper now? So Henzo Gracie up against the corner right now as Soji's throwing some muffin shots on him. Henzo Gracie just holding his opponent here. He's got the underhooks in, but he's on his back up against the corner. What's going on, Diego? What's going on? What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know, but he hooked me donation, so I love him. I love him. By the way, shout out Waggle Golf for hooking me up with this sick hat here. The ref is actually telling Soji to not grab the ropes here. Henzo Gracie drops for a guillotine. He's got the guard standing up here. Soji keeps grabbing the ropes. Again, if you're following along, guys, 23 minutes and 46 seconds into the video is where we are at. Appreciate the conversation in the live chat. You all are amazing. Hensel Gracie going for a guillotine. Going for a guillotine. Oh, he doesn't have it locked in and pops out of it is Soji. Now Soji's in the top position. Henzo Gracie in his full guard. Soji. Throwing some body shots right now. Henzo Gracie in the bottom position. Again, at the time of this fight back in 97, Henzo Gracie had only had only had a record of 5-0. and Akira Soji was 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Soji was only 23 years old. Whereas uh, Gracie at the time was 30. Henzo still in the bottom position here. Soji's still in the top position. Neither of them doing much right here. Henzo Gracie just kind of holding on to his opponent. He doesn't even look like he's really looking for much here. Tried to use his left leg to kick Soji off of him. Was not successful. Folks, if you want to watch along, please click the link in the live chat. Or just, I, I believe I put it in the description of this video as well. If not, I'll throw it back in the live chat here in a second. We are 25 minutes and 10 seconds into the video pride one rewatch here folks we do a lot of live streams every weekend for live events ufc bellator one championship you all know the drill if you're new to the channel like and subscribe and sit back relax and let's let's rewatch some of the greatest mixed martial arts events from some of the best promotions tonight we are starting from the beginning pride fc1 back when it wasn't even called pride fc yet when it was a pride event put on by krs Henzo Gracie has his right leg up. And that is the end of the first round. Okay, so we do have rounds. We do have rounds. End of the first round. I don't have a, I don't have a, a time clock here. I mean, this is some VHS shit, bro. This is some VHS shit, but we're going into round two in a moment. All right, round two. Let's get it all! Both of them center of the ring, on their feet here. Soji, Gracie, neither of them really sporting any damage. I would say maybe Soji has a little bit of a shiner on his left eye here. Again, if you're following us on this video, we are 26 minutes and 30 seconds into the video. You can find it, UFC Fight Pass. You can find it on YouTube is where I'm watching it right now as well. If you just look up Pride FC1. I'll hook you guys the link to in the live chat here if you want to follow along. Shout out to everyone joining us. We typically only do live event stream watch along slash fight companions on the channel every weekend, but I want to start doing more streams on this channel. And I love rewatching old events here. So we're rewatching. Uh, I keep saying one just because I'm so used to watching the, the rings these days, but Pride FC one. We're rewatching here originally aired in 1970 or 1997. And a great stuff of the takedown was Soji. Henzo Gracie tried to take Soji down. Beautiful 
Beautiful defense there. And now Soji ended up in the full guard of Henzo Gracie again. Top position, Henzo Gracie holding on to him with a tight, tight grip. Henzo trying to work from his back here. I mean, he's, his guard isn't closed right now. Again, here's the here's the video I'm watching, folks. I'm going to throw you in the link right now. or I'm going to throw you the link in the live chat right now. We are 27 minutes and 44 seconds into the video. Craig, even M1 has some great cards you can rewatch. Yes! Thank you for the suggestion, brother. Thank you for the, the suggestion. And what we're going to do with the rewatch, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. So we're going to start like the first M1 event, or at least the oldest one that we can actually find. But what's great about UFC Fight Pass is they got all the old WEC, they got all the old Strike Force, they got all the old Pride. So we're definitely going to be focusing on those. But if you guys have any other suggestions, much like Craig here, appreciate it, Craig. Appreciate everyone who's just hanging out on this Wednesday night watching some old school MMA, folks. 1997 Pride FC1. And if you're watching the video, I, uh, I sent the link in the live chat. We are, if you want to follow along live with us, we are 28 minutes and 37 seconds into the video. You can appreciate Grant Gregory's short spotlights. Counter, Factual United News, Gravedigger Jones, Jaden, Sean, Shane, uh, Attaboy, Mr. Big Wig for the donation, Theo Gates, Brian, Zoomer Loyalist, Average Fight Fan. You guys are all amazing. Living with H, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. We're going to do more streams on this channel. I absolutely love this community, and I can't go a week without hanging out with you guys watching fights. High guard here for. Henzo, and he's trapping the left arm and shoulder of Soji. We're in the second round, folks. Now looking for an arm bar here. Now looking for an arm bar, and Soji gets out of it. Good scramble by Soji. Again, as far as shots and like significant strikes, Soji's the one who's been landing more. He's been in the top position. He's landing more body shots. Now they're like muffin body shots, let's be perfectly honest. Henzo Gracie on his back right now. Soji on his feet, center of the ring. Again, this is before... Pride was even called Pride. This first event by KRS was called Pride. And it was an event put on so that Takata could fight Hicks and Gracie as they had that crazy rivalry, folks. The history of Pride FC is unbelievable. Highly recommend you guys go and check out Napoleon Blown Apart's documentary on Pride. Um, Before we do our next one for Pride FC 2, back up to his feet is Henzo Gracie. Again, into the video, we're 30 minutes and 14 seconds into the video. My favorite Henzo moment, Henzo versus uh, Sp Speakers in a Valley Tudo tournament after Henzo choked him out with his own gi. He rolls him over and he walks off steps. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Dude, that was savage. That was savage. Didn't it like cause a little like kerfuffle in the ring after amongst like the teams? Average fight fans this is so awesome. I'm glad that you guys dig these. I'm glad you guys dig this so far. Again, I'm going to tighten up like my presentation of it and whatnot. I'm going to try to get a fight clock and everything like that, folks. But uh, I figured, hey, you got to rip the Band-Aid off, you know, at some point. You, you know, the first one is the one you learn from. This is the first rewatch stream that we've done on the channel. If you want to see some of the other streams and proof that we do a lot of live streams, just, just check out the live portion, the live section of this channel, and you'll see. We do live streams every single week, folks, and we're going to up the stream game here on the channel watching some older promotions. Both of them still on their feet here, not really engaging much, much against these. They were so young in their careers at the time. Henzo, yeah, he was 30 years old, but he was 5-0 and in mixed martial arts when this event went on in 99 or 97, and Akira Soji was 1-1-1 one, one and one going into this fight. Henzo Gracie lands a low kick. Yeah, I got crazy, but they hugged it out in the end. What a savage sport, man. What a savage sport. Again, Pride FC is my favorite MMA promotion. A nice one-two by Gracie, but a good high guard and boxing defense by Soji. Gracie threw a leg kick and then tried to go for a takedown. Good defense by Soji right now. Holding on to the right leg is Gracie. Soji has that knee of the right leg on the ground right now. 
I mean, Soji, this just shows how inexperienced he is because this is like pride. He could literally knee Gracie right now if he had a little bit more experience, right? And get him off of him. This stream is cool, brother. I'm digging it. I was one of the city lifers that wanted these flashbacks. I'm loving it. Yeah, you, Mr. Grant Gregory. There's a few of you guys who were like, yeah, let's do some of these old ones. That That's awesome. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you guys are following along, I will continue to paste the link in the live chat if you're just joining us. But we are 32 minutes and 51 seconds into the video. And Henzo gets the takedown now, or at least the top position now, as he's in the guard of Soji. Still in the second round. And this just shows how like how inexperienced Henzo was at this time. Henzo in half guard, trying to slip out of it to get into full mount, and he does. He gets into full mount, but just for a moment, as Soji rolls out of it, Henzo now... Takes the back. Going for an armbar. Henzo's going for an armbar. Soji shakes him off of him. Shakes him off him. And the Japanese crowd goes crazy. Soji just yelling. War rage. Yell at Henzo Gracie right now. And Henzo Gracie on his back. Henzo Gracie on his back. Breathing deeply right now. Is Soji going to allow him back up to his feet? Or is he going to try to enter his guard? Again, if you're following along on the Pride 1 full event replay. 33 minutes and 55 seconds into the video. Every time I hear someone say Pride, I automatically think of Rampage power bombs. You know, I can't wait until we get to the Rampage era of Pride. And by the way, vote in the poll question if you haven't already, folks. And if I'm missing your favorite fighter, if I'm missing your favorite fighter, please write it in. I know, I know there was a few that I missed that I couldn't fit. There's only four spaces, but uh, yeah, let me know who you voted for in the poll question or if there's someone who I should have included in your mind over one of the others. Henzo's still on his back here. 34 minutes and 39 seconds into the video if you want to follow us long live here. Pride FC won. Before it was even Pride FC, right? When this was the standalone event for Takata and Gracie to fight. Shane said Sakuraba. Great pick, Shane. He was my favorite as well. I think he's one of the best. I mean, he's a legend. He went to the UFC, even Hall of Fame. Even though he never fought in the UFC. Uh, this fight is a classic example of how the art of fighting has evolved in such a short period of time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, like, Henzo didn't even know how to box. Not that he really ever learned striking, but... And Soji was only 22 years old at this time. And it just shows, too, like... Oh, here we go. Soji's inviting him back up to his feet. Boss Rutan on the call, though, which is awesome. Gracie's still on his... It's telling his back right now. Yeah, Gracie doesn't want to get back up. He doesn't want to box this young cat. He wants to go full jujitsu. Man, look at their gloves, too, in this first event. Straight up like what we would see our amateur fighters today wear as far as gloves. And that's the end of the second round. <laughs> and Boss Rudin, thank God for the bell there. Thank God for the bell. You can shout out to everyone. I know there's not many of you, but this is the first rewatch. This is the first rewatch. Appreciate you all. There's a few new subscribers. How we even got a, a donation. I appreciate that. And I appreciate that you guys appreciate the history of this sport. Yeah, we're always going to do live streams every single weekend for live events. UFC, One Championship, Bellator, Glory, Eris, like Cage Warriors. If you want to go see the, the events that we have done and regularly do, just Check the channel, click the live uh, little tab, and you'll be able to scroll down and see that we cover all sorts of martial arts, all sorts of combat sports here, folks. But I figured, you know what? We had some suggestions from some of our subscribers that they're like, can you do old fight events? So we're going to, we started at the beginning, one, oh, I keep saying one, but yes, it is the, the first, the one, Pride one, Pride Fighting Championship one here, back when it was the KRS event, and a good touch of the gloves, and we were in the final round. Let's 
you're following us along here, click the, the link that I shared in the live chat. 37 minutes and 25 seconds into the video. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already, too, folks. But yeah, Rampage was an awesome, entertaining fighter in Pride. Vanderlei as well. Sakuraba, as Shane said. Towards the end of the promotion, I mean, the Noguera brothers. Shoot, even Alistair Overeem had a, had a little bit of a stint in Pride as well. Body kick by Henzo Gracie. You know, Henzo Gracie utilizing the kick so he can set up the takedown. Again, a young Henzo Gracie. He was 30 years old at this time. Uh, the first time I remember seeing MMA gloves was in the movie Best of the Best in the final tournament. They wore MMA gloves, and that was back in 1989. Wow. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. If you're following us along, folks, on this rewatch along here, this rewatch fight companion, we're watching Pride 1 full event replay. I threw the link in the chat, and we are at the 38-minute and 35-second mark. Third round of this fight. Hensel Gracie going for the takedown and denying him with the right uppercut was Soji. Soji, Hensel Gracie. And Hensel Gracie, yeah, he's a little bit... Uh, he's a little bit... Not frightened, but frazzled here is... The young Soji is having a tough time taking him to the ground. Soji very much on the defense here as well is the Japanese fighter. And again, when these guys fought back in 97, folks, Henzo Gracie was 30 years old. He was 5-0 and in MMA. Soji, the, the, the guy is 22 years old and he was 1-1-1. One, one and one. Yo, what's up, Benjamin? Yo, you should you see the super exciting fight press conference. Uh, for Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. Dude, I did. Dude, that was the longest stare down and just like, oh, but th yes, I did watch that. I did watch that. As I was watching the, um, I was watching the MMA hour today and Helwani and the crew referenced it. So I like paused that show and went and watched it. Unreal. Unreal. I mean, this weekend is stacked with combat sports, folks. It's absolutely insane. From Glory, the Bellator Grand Prix starts, UFC, Obviously, PFL Challenger Series still going on. One Championship Friday fights. We have that huge boxing match as well. Dude, and some nice leg kicks by Soji as well as the left, the, the left leg of Henzo Gracie. The upper left leg is bruising tremendously here. And again, if you're following us along, Pride 1, full event replay. It's on YouTube. We're watching the YouTube video right now. 40 minutes and 23 seconds into the video. It's good to see you, Benjamin. Best of the best is a classic brother. Ta uh, Taekwondo movie. Give it a watch. You'll appreciate it. Dude, I bet I will. I love classic fight movies. One of the most underrated ones, and I think this came out in 99, was uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, man. That one was so sick. That press conference was so unbelievably dull. The stare down, though. That was my favorite part. Like, the stare down... I didn't watch the press conference, but I watched like the whole antics after the stare down and everything like that. And it was awesome. They kept them going for like five minutes, chirping at each other. And who who was late again? Wasn't like uh, one of the fighters was like two two hours late or some shit, and they just kept the kept the press conference going. Going for the takedown again was Henzo Gracie, stuffed by Soji here. Honestly, oh, and Soji with a knee to the head, a knee to the head again is Soji. Pull guard, pulling guard is Henzo Gracie. Tank was late. Jeez. Two hours, right? That That's what he was? Like, it was something crazy like that. You're watching on YouTube. No wonder your time doesn't match. I'm watching on Fight Pass. Oh, my apologies, brother. Yeah, I'm watching on this link that I keep... Uh, this link that I'm throwing here. This is what I'm watching on right now. I'll always let you guys know if I'm watching either on Fight Pass or on YouTube. But I'm watching on UFC Fight Pass's YouTube uh, page right now. My apologies, brother. My apologies. Forty-two minutes and eleven seconds into this video, the link I am posting in the chat right now. My apologies, uh, 
Average fight fan for not being more clear on that. Eddie, what's going on, Eddie? It's good to see you, buddy. We're doing our first rewatch fight companion here, starting way back in the 90s, 1997 to be exact for KRS Pride One. That's right, before Pride was a promotion. It was named Pride One by the promotion KRS to host the Hickson Gracie and Takata fight. <laughs> Stop it, Gracie. What's up, Zinus? What is up? I didn't see the stare down cut it off close to the end because it sucked the life out of me. Fair enough. Fair enough. I only watched the like 10 minute clip of like the stare down. Dude, they, they kept the stare down going for like five or so minutes and they were just chirping each other. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. It's all good, brother. I'm synced up. Let's go. Eddie Rodriguez saying, oh yeah, I was confused for a second. A bunch of people on the channel, a bunch of subscribers are asking if, um, because let me dial it back a bit. I want to do more streams on this channel, right? I want to do more streams on this channel, a, a bunch midweek as well, but there's, there's barely any fight promotions midweek that are accessible to everybody. So I, so I figured, and because you guys and a lot of you subscribers are asking if we could, you know, go back in time and rewatch some of these great promotions together that we might as well start at the beginning. Pride one and oh, beautiful. A beautiful reversal by Gracie here. And Gracie, top position. And Soji gets right back up. Soji's a good scrambler, folks. 43 minutes and 56 seconds into the video. Third round of this fight. Soji against Henzo Gracie. Henzo Gracie was on his back there in the full guard. Soji, not really laying any ground and pound. Gracie spins, gets out of it, lands a little bit in the top position, but Soji, an incredible scrambler, and he got out of that nearing the end of the third round. We don't even have a time clock, this, this VHS quality <laughs> pride event. We don't have a time clock on this one, folks. So I don't know how much... I don't know how much time is left in the third and final round, but we're getting close. They are back on their feet. But again, Eddie, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Uh, predictions for Tank or Garcia. Oh, man. Honestly, I've, I've seen them both fight, but I don't follow boxing enough to like give a, a good prediction. Um, ask me again this weekend after I do some research. Ask me again this weekend after I do some research. I'll be streaming uh, the prelims for the glory card on Saturday. Um, so ask me that. I just, I don't want to give like a stupid take. Cause I, I just, you guys know, I don't really follow boxing. That's the one combat sport that like, I just don't follow as much. I'm, I'm getting into kickboxing though. And like, I am all in on glory and uh glory of uh, was it glory of champions or glory of heroes, whatever that Chinese kickboxing promotion, man, I am all in and I'm going to be starting following that. Uh, but what about you, Benjamin? Hit me with some knowledge, bro. Hit me with some knowledge. You seem like you're a boxing fan. Now, what are your predictions on the fight? Uh, tomorrow, one Friday fight. Don't miss it, people. Zionist bet tank. Yeah, cheers to you, Eddie. It's great to see you, man. It's great to see you. And look, it's all about the vibes here. It's all about the vibes here. And it's good to be hanging out with you guys in midweek and do more streams. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, folks. Vote in the poll question. Um, we are 45 minutes and 46 minutes, we'll say, into this video right now. Here's the link to the video that we are watching. Catch up with us. Sync up with us. 46 minutes and 10 seconds exactly. Gracie Soji on their feet right now. Not the most exciting fight right now, but Soji's fight up. Soji with another leg kick. And I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty even fight. As far as strikes landed, Soji's landed more strikes. Other than the leg kicks, none of them have really been significant. Gracie goes for the takedown and gets reversed. Soji in top position is laying down the ground and pound right now. Soji in... Side can oh he's half guard now. He was in side control looking to roll out of his Gracie hammer fist by Soji and up kick attempt by Gracie. Soji's back up to his feet. Garcia plus money all day. I've been all in on these slap leagues. I can't even lie. I like some of the slap leagues that aren't the UFC's one because they actually slap each other and they can go multiple rounds. The UFC one, it's just like, it's see, palm strikes. It's it's a palm strike league. It's not an actual slap league. Um, and that is it for the third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. 
Upon watching that, rewatching this fight, folks, I mean, oh man, who do I even give it to? I'd probably give it to Soji, to be perfectly honest. He just landed more strikes. He reversed Gracie a bunch of times. Yeah, Gracie maybe had the control time. But it was a pretty boring fight, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, by Pride standards. Again, the Pride events just get better and better, folks. We're, we, but we got to start at the beginning. We got to start at the beginning. And look at that majority draw. Wow. Majority draw. Tokyo Dome, 1997. Pride... One, ladies and gentlemen. I love Benin Dariush. Every time I watch the close fight, they're both so flat-footed. It's like watching penguins waddle. <laughs> that was uh when when was that? That was one of uh, Benil's earlier fights. Yeah, I love Benil Dariush. Uh, Ryan Garcia seems to be taking Tank more seriously than Tank is taking him. Ryan Garcia is a fun fighter. Both of them are undefeated, right? Man, this Soji, this Soji just screaming, just screaming to the crowd. Uh, Gabe and Steiny fought each other in slap. Who the fuck are they? Who's Gabe and Steiny? All right, next fight here as we roll along, ladies and gentlemen. We got some big boys here. We got some big boys. I'm guessing this one is the Japanese fighter against the Australian. But we'll update the ticker on the screen here in a moment. Again, shout out to everyone joining us here in our first rewatch, replay fight companion here. Again, this tournament was open weight. There weren't there weren't any weight classes here, folks. Okay, so yeah, Koji Katao against Nathan Jones in the next fight. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and the and the graphic on the screen here as we roll right along. A foremost sumo fighter. I mean, this would be a heavyweight bout if there were weight divisions, but again, this is the first Pride event before Pride was even like an actual league slash promotion. This event was named Pride 1 by KRS as they were hosting the Takata and Gracie fight, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get right back to your comments in just a moment. Do, 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 do. Boss Rutan on the call too. This is awesome. So at the time of this fight, Koji... Kitao was 0-2 and two in his pro MMA career, and he was 38 years old, whereas Nathan Jones, this was his first ever MMA fight as he was 0-0 zero zero going into this one, round one. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. Again, if you're following along here, here is the link to the... Blah, 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 or the link to the promotion, the link to the fight, the link to the video I just posted in the live chat, and we are... 50 minutes and 40, 50 minutes and 50 seconds into the video if you want to sync up with us. Oh, from Nelk. I don't even know who those two guys are. Wait, Gabe's the, their manager? I don't know. I stopped watching Nelk when Jesse left. Oh, and a high kick attempt by Jones. A spinning crescent kick, says Boss Rutan. What's up, Andrew? Thank you so much for joining, brother. Andrew, click the link in the that I sent in the chat and sync up with us and watch some Pride 1. Would recommend to watch a Steiny vs. Gabe power slap fight. Okay, okay, I mean, I guess I'll have to watch it. On a Wednesday night, matches rewatched. Everybody hit the like. Isha needs more hype here. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, that's your beautiful than a motherfucker. Hope you're having a good week. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Speaking of the Gracies, uh, Cronus finally fighting in the UFC again, booked against Charles Air Jordan. Yes, I saw that today. When I mean, the last time Chrome Gracie fought was what, 2018, 2019, something like that? Oh, a nice knee to the body there by Jones. And the sumo wrestler Koji takes him to the ground. Koji's huge. I mean, despite. Nathan Jones being an absolute beast in his own right. I still think Koji's probably got like 50 to 60 pounds on him. 
Yeah, Crone Gracie back from a long layoff into the U in the UFC. He's gonna fight the Canadian Charles Air Jordan. Jordan's been on a little bit of a skid lately. Bottom position here is Nathan Jones, Koji in the top position. Koji, a former sumo wrestler. Go for a key lock, and he gets it. Gonna finish it. And it's all over. Sumo wrestler, key lock, submission, and Koji's going nuts in front of the Japanese crowd. Just war cry right now. And Nathan Jones, not a grappler at all, says the broadcast here. Folks, if you want to watch along with us and look at that, getting his trophy, pride won, ladies and gentlemen. And Koji so emotional here in front of the Japanese crowd at the Tokyo Dome. We're just looking at the replay. Oh, this is a nasty key lock. He was just, he was literally seconds away from breaking that arm. If you guys want to watch with us, we're at 53 minutes and 25 seconds into the video. Uh, click the link in the chat, Andrew. Click the link in the chat. I'll send it to you again, buddy. I'll send it to you again. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Here is the link, brother. Here is the link. And appreciate everyone who's been following along here. Here it is, Andrew. I just sent it in the chat. It shows the weight on the thing on your screen. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice it. So yeah, I was right. 390 pounds was Koji. 345 was Nathan Jones. I don't want Kron or Jordan to lose. It'll be an amazing fight though. Yeah, honestly, I'm in the same boat. I, I love both of the fighters. I will be a little bit more biased in cheering for Charles Jordan. I want to see him get back in the win column. I want to see... I, I just want to see a Canadian eventually fight for the belt again. <laughs> All right, next fight here, folks. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and I'll update the graphic on screen as well. Um, we have... Da, 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 da. Who do we have here next? Dude, this fight might not even be on... Uh, on the fight card. I'm just listening to the broadcast right now. Oh, okay. That's so this is not even a mixed martial arts. So we're, we're kind of thrown for a little bit of a curveball right here, folks. This fight is just a stand up fight right now. The spinning back kick. So yeah, this this fight that's uh that's going on right now, I'm gonna have to do some googling on the fly to see what this fight even is. But it's not even on the tapology screen or on the tapology uh card right now. So I'll just leave this graph graphic up. This is not an MMA fight, so I guess this would be Muay Thai. I guess it's just a stand up fight right now, and I'll find out who they are in just a moment. Jordan TKO round three. Have to back a fellow Canadian. Shout out to you, Craig. It's going to be a good fight regardless, as Benjamin said. Kron is 1-1 in the UFC, submitted Alex Caceres round one, then lost a decision to Cub Swanson. They threw him to the Wolves pretty quickly. Yeah, he, he, how old is he? He's still relatively young, isn't he? Kron Gracie. I won't be as much play-by-player -play or comment on this next fight, folks, as let's just all enjoy it. Let's just all enjoy it. How old is he? Oh, he's 34 now. God damn. Time flies. Time flies. All right, I'm actually just going to do some Googling on the fly here. So in the first Pride event, let's see what the, the stand-up fight was here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So let's bring up Wikipedia here. So yeah, they, they are in the, the MMA gloves. And oh, and a nice left hand and a soccer kick by the Croatian fighter. It's funny because even the announcers don't even know the rules. They're like, I don't even know if that was legal. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It was... So the fighters are Ralph White, 
out of the United States and Branko Sikatic. And, and Branko Sikatic. Oh, you can see the welt on the right side of the head of the American. He soccer kicked him right in the head. This might be a disqualification for Bran Branko Sikatic. So this fight's not listed on Tapology because it was not a mixed martial arts fight on the card. Oh my God, look at that hematoma on the right side of the head of the American Ralph White. Oh no, Andrew, this was this was aired in 1997, dude. It's kickboxing, kickboxing. I love how they just call it straight up striking, though. <laughs> Wow, shin to the dome on the ground there. Doctors looking at him. I think this might be this might be canceled. Nick and Nate probably haven't been the best influence on, on Gracie. Was he like the hippie lettuce? The devil's lettuce? Oh, look at the replay on that. That was a nasty kick. By the way, if you're following along with us, folks, and I just love the chatter here. Like, Benjamin, we're talking some UFC. Keep the comments coming. This is awesome. We are 58 minutes and 47 seconds into this event, ladies and gentlemen, into this video. If you want to follow along, if you want to sync up. What's my favorite pride? I liked uh, the Sakuraba against Hoist Gracie event was amazing. It was a long ass fight, and you know, some people don't appreciate how just beautiful that exchange was as it went. Like, what did it, go? it went? It was over an hour. Um, I loved Rampage's first ever fight. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head. And uh, Vanderlei Silva, when he, as much as I love Sakuraba, when he fought Sakuraba for the, for the first time, that was really an awesome one as well. And then uh, Pride's first Grand Prix. That one was fun. And then the Grand Prix that Chuck Liddell and some of the UFC guys um, participated in. Those, those are kind of my favorite memorable events. But I can't wait to like relive those moments and memories. Oh my God. As we do these rewatch fight companions uh, midweek moving forward. What about yours, Diego? Uh, anyways, I hit the like and there I got it. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. So yeah, Angie, if you want to... We are the one hour mark of the event right now. One hour into the event. That guy grew a fucking horn. Dude, yeah. Like, I, I don't remember watching this Pride event, to be perfectly honest. I was a my, my I think my dad has this one on VHS, but I was way too young to remember this one. I remember the UFC ones a little bit more. Okay, we're looking at the replay right now. An overhand right that stumbled the American. And then, yeah, oh, shin right to the dome. Right to the dome. Brankow psychotic against Ralph White and it was a shin to the dome of Ralph White 1 minute and 52 seconds into the first round and the cornerman of Ralph White's making a protest that that was illegal you can't soccer kick your opponents in a Muay Thai slash kickboxing match Andrew's watching hockey all right, let's take a look at the replay again here, folks. Again, we are exactly one hour, one minute, and five seconds into this video. Oh, what a nasty kick. What a nasty kick. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? That will soon become legal in this promotion. We are watching an event that wasn't even a promotion yet. Pride was the name of KRS's event to host the fight between Takata and Hickson Gracie at the time. I like watching Shogun fighting and Silva and Chuck Liddell. How could I forget Shogun? The pride of pride. One of the craziest and best to come out of shooter box at that time. I liked pride until it got... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, when, did, when, when, did it, when did it get like that, though? <laughs> Oh, Benjamin, nothing but the jokes. I love it. Your haircut looks real friendly. The good old Mike Perry. Dude, Mike Perry is a just is amazing. He's so funny. 
He's going through a lot of shit during his time in the UFC. He was fighting some personal demons, but it's good to see him doing a lot better now. It seems as he's maturing, as he's getting older, as he's, you know, become a star and almost the face of one of the faces of BKFC. Um, I, I've always liked Mike Perry. Um, Beach Frequency, that YouTube channel as well. He did a great documentary on Mike Perry. If you guys want to see <laughs> your haircut looks real friendly but yeah good joke there i liked pride until it got all gay but <laughs> oh that's so funny so the bronco sigatic sigatic i guess is how you pronounce his name uh, shin kicked Ralph White right in the dome, and it looks like he's going to be disqualified here or something. S maybe a no contest as this fight is over. They're not going to allow Ralph White to continue fighting. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Oh, and they're they're explaining they're they're talking to each other. There's no like ill will or anything. They shake and bow, but it looks like that's gonna be it. That is it. That is it for the fight. All right, moving right along then. Wow. Kimo Leopoldo against Dan Severn. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Oh my god, this is an absolute classic. This is an absolute classic. Oh my god, this one's gonna be fun. This one's gonna be fun. And we kind of, oh shoot, that's annoying that it shows the outcome. But anyways, we'll watch the fight anyways. We'll watch the fight anyways. Kimo Leopoldo. Leopoldo. He fought in the UFC as well. In the old UFC days, folks. The old UFC days. Yeah, so there's a... Okay, so Kimo Leopoldo won UFC 5. That's right. He won UFC 5. Making his debut. I mean, obviously debut since this is the first promo first event for Pride FC before it was even a promotion. And of course, they're getting Dan Severin as well. All right, round one. Let's get it all! Kimo, Dan Severin. Severin wearing boxing... Uh, shoes actually in this one. Kimo's going barefoot. Kimo with the left hand. Dan Severin, an absolute legend, L literally a Hall of Famer. Diego, how are you feeling, by the way, buddy? I'm sorry I didn't bring this up right off the bat. How are you? I hope you're feeling better, bro. I hope you're starting to recover a little bit more. You know, we all have your back. We're all thinking of you, we're all praying for you. We're all sending you good vibes. Jelani, what's going on, Jelani? Yes, indeed. We are re-watching Pride FC1. And if you want to follow along, I can send you the link in the live chat. As we are watching uh, a YouTube video of it. A lot of the Pride events actually are on YouTube, Jelani. So here you go, buddy. Here's the link. Sync up with us. We are at one hour and six minutes into the event right now. Kimo looks absolutely ripped right now. I mean, this was the Royd era. Kimo up against Dan Severin with a beautiful left hand by Dan Severin. And Dan Severin, of course, will make a name for himself in Pride. Dan Severin's made a name for himself in every freaking mixed martial arts promotion. Kimo looking for a level change. Kimo swings with that right hand. And again, Kimo coming off a UFC 5 tournament championship where he was the winner. Dan Severin going for a level change here. Dan Severin holding Kimo up against the ropes. Hey, I do like I do like the country singer. <laughs> and we love Andrew, of course, as well. But yeah, what's up, Jelani? I like the video, guys, if you haven't already. And we're going to do more of these 
rewatch fight companion. So hit me up with suggestions. We're obviously going to keep doing pride. Look guys, the reason we're doing this, cause like, I want to do more streams throughout the week. I want to do more streams on this channel, but you know, all the, all the fight companions, all the live events are always on the weekend for the most part. So we're going to fill in the gaps with old fight promotions as well. Back by popular demand as you folks wanted us to do these on the channel. So why not start with Pride 1? Our next Pride event will be Pride 2, obviously. We're going to do some WEC. We're going to do some Strike Force. We got some, uh, what do you say? Was it M1 or K1? M1 events said, uh, since Craig. And by the way, big shout out to a beautiful name here. Mr. Big Wig Majig, AG Lig, Vietnam, Him, Ham, Jam, Fig, Stig. Thank you so much for the donation, brother. I appreciate you. First time seeing Pride back in 98. We just got cable and I was flipping through the channels. Came across a sports channel that was playing tonight's main event. I had no idea what I was watching. That's amazing. My dad has a few of the Pride uh, events on DVD. Uh, he has some of the later ones on DVD, but he has some of the early ones on VHS. And then he has the Pride one or UFC 1-5 to five event on, uh, on box set VHS. I saw Pride and I thought it was back. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um... Oh, you thought it was back. No, I wish. I wish. But uh, I threw the link in the chat for you, Jelani. You can sync up with us. We are one hour, eight minutes, and 45 seconds into this video. Kimo Leopoldo against the absolute legend, Dan Severin. And going into this event, Kimo was seven and two. Both of these guys, American fighters. He was 29 years old. Dan Severn was 39, 39. Dan Severn like fought well, like in his forties, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Severn, 23 and one going into this fight was the Michigan native. I was born in 98. I was born in 93. So I'm literally as old as the UFC, the UFC celebrating 30 years. She, I'm celebrating 30 years as well. And Dan Severn, he's won two UFC titles going into this fight. Leopoldo, one UFC title to his name, competed a few times as well. And it was, looks like, Dan, yeah, Dan Severn was a, a little bit bigger also. 250 pounds going into this fight. Chemo, 235. And yeah, there was matchmaking for this, but at the end of the day... It was, it was an open weight event. And this was before Pride became Pride, right? Pride was the name of this event that KRS was putting on for the Takata slash Gracie fight. And you're only, only six years older, only six years older. Bro, I got a keyboard from this Asian market. Nice. Is it a good, is it like a, is it a good keyboard? What kind of keyboard? I have a little uh, cordless keyboard right now, but I have my gaming keyboard locked away for when I get to get back on the Counter-Strike game. I type something and it just gets locked. Oh, so I guess it's not a good keyboard. Well, this one I think is a... What, I don't even know what brand this one is. It's an HP keyboard. It was like 20 bucks. And then my, my gaming keyboard, that was not cheap. That one was like almost 100 bucks. Both these fighters on their feet. First round is almost done here. We are one hour, 11 minutes, and 15 seconds into the video here, folks. Pride won the first ever Pride event. It was actually a pretty good card, given that MMA was still very, very new. Kimo's still not necessarily gassed yet. He had a nice low kick on Dan Severin. Dan Severin with a nice right hand. <laughs> Technically, don't we all get our keyboards from the Asian market? That is true. That is true. Bro, I bought it in yen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got this donation in yen, to be perfectly honest. Appreciate the donation, Mr. Big Wig, Majid, AG, Lig, Vietnam, Ham Jam, Fig Stig. And Dan Severin and Kimo, they've landed some hard shots on each other. 
Kimo's just looking to swing here, but even the shots that they've landed, like no one's no one's going down. No one's going down here. It is you. Thank you so much for the donation. Honestly, I appreciate it so much. Seriously, Pride is my favorite MMA promotion. And we usually do live streams every single weekend following, you know, the live events, live fight companions, giving play-by-play -play to the events that are going on live. But I want to do more streams, guys. I want to do more streams throughout the week. So we're rolling it back. And a lot of people in the chat and a lot of subscribers are asking me, hey, can you do some old promotions? Can you do some old events? And we can all just watch them together. And I said, hell yeah. So we're doing that tonight, the first one on the channel. And I appreciate the love that we are getting right off the bat. Isn't Kimo in jail for murder or something? I think so. Let's do a little Googling on the fly here. No, Dan Severn looked to go for a takedown and he doesn't get it. It wouldn't surprise me that Kimo had some legal trouble. I don't remember off the top of my head though, but let's let's take a look. Oh, yes. <laughs> the broadcast is awesome. The broadcast is awesome. So in February of 2009, Leopoldo was arrested in uh, Tustin, California for possession of a controlled substance. In the police report, Leopoldo was standing by his car wearing sandals, playing with a yo-yo and in a Long Beach Police Department jumpsuit that can only be worn by the motor pool mechanics. Various media outlets reported that Leopoldo uh, had died from complications from a heart attack at the age of 41. Kevin Ioli of Yahoo Sports reported on his Twitter that Leopoldo's publicist refuted reports that Leopoldo was in Costa Rica and instead was seen alive in Orange County the night before. At a July 2000 or at a July 24, 2009 press conference, Leopoldo denied anyone close to him created the rumor. He also expressed his desire to return to fighting one last time. Kimo is well known for his Christian beliefs. He sports many religious tattoos and entered the arena at UFC 3 carrying a large cross on his back. I remember that. I remember that. So there you go. There's a little history on Kimo, folks. <laughs> For the love of pride, again, thank you so much. Yeah, that's beautiful than a I appreciate the donation more than you know. I'm saving up for a new monitor. I'm saving up for like a, a time clock. And we want to get like a, a good like fluorescent uh, time clock. None of that LED shit so it looks good on the camera. Yo, Bigwig gifted and we appreciate Bigwig. Thank you so much for subscribing, Bigwig. Mr. Bigwig. And yes, Jelani, he wrote an essay of a name, and I love it. It rhymes. It rhymes. Mr. Big Wig, Majig, AG Lig, Vietnam, Ham Jam, Fig Stig. Thank you so much, buddy. Outside low kick on Severin by Leopoldo again. Leopoldo with a good one, two, straight left jab, followed by a right. Again, if you're following us, folks, if you want to follow us, I can hook you the link to this event here again i'll throw it in the live chat here if you want to sync up we are one hour 16 minutes and five seconds into the video severin again was 39 years old in 97 competing in this fight leopoldo 29 years old so 10 years older than leopoldo Severin, a multi-time UFC champion at this point in his career. Leopoldo did win one tournament, I believe, UFC 5. Shit, I'm trying to get a membership. I mean, I would say get Fight Pass for future, for future retro fight companions that we do because we are going to be doing WEC over the weekend and that one we are watching on UFC Fight Pass. This one just happened to be on YouTube, a lot more accessible for you guys. So I decided to throw the link in here. Jelani, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. And folks, we're going to take a little bit of a break after this stream. I actually have to go and pick something up from a buddy because I'm doing a live podcast show at a brewery um, tomorrow. So I have to pick up some of the gear because I'm going to set up. But then we'll be back for a late night 
exclusive member stream. So if you're if you're a if you're a night owl, we're gonna start it uh, later tonight. But we never miss a exclusive member live stream, folks. Even if we have to fuck with the time a little bit. So uh, there you go. Oh, no, I think he means Mr. Fig gifted memberships. Mr. Fig, you gifted memberships? Oh, my God. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Mr. Bigwig, you're awesome, buddy. So, yeah, go to your YouTube account and uh, or the top right of the chat, and I believe that you can accept them. Again, I'm streaming through a program that's not on YouTube, so I can't see any of that going on right here, but I appreciate it. And I appreciate you, Short Spotlight. And Dan Severn going for the takedown, but a good... Stuff by Leopoldo. And some good shots. Some good shots as he stands back up by Dan Severn. Again, Dan Severn, an absolute legend. 39 years old going into this fight in 97 and putting up a great fight against the 10-year younger Leopoldo. Both of them had won UFC championships, UFC tournaments at this point, back when it was the one-night tournament in the UFC. The audio sound effects, though. I got a few. I got a few more UFC ones, folks. If you're new to the channel, I'll show you some of them. This is one of my favorite ones. Look at me now! Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? Uh... That's fucking illegal. <laughs> I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Oh, and good old Uncle Chael. I can't let you get close. <laughs> so we got some good ones. We got some good ones. Man, this is crazy. These rounds are freaking like 10 minutes long. Dan Severin. Leopoldo. Chemo. Fighting in the first ever Pride event here. Outside low kick by Chemo. Chemo's breathing deeply here. Severin. I mean, both these guys are probably on the juice, let's be perfectly honest. But Severin at 39 years of age going into this fight is much more impressive. I saw your uh, comment now. I know. Thanks, Isha. Oh, hell yeah. Look at me now. Look at me now. Leon Edwards. Look at me now. Dude, I am so rooting for him again. I am so rooting for him again. Yo, what's up, Matt? What's up, Matt? Are you working right now? Or are you at home, buddy? If you're at home, fire this shit up right now. We are watching the first ever Pride event. Here's the link. And we are currently at one hour, 20 minutes, and five seconds if you want to sync up. Dan Severn, Chemo, Leopoldo. Bro, that uh, boy, Nate, sounds too much like me. <laughs> I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you stopped by and said what's up. Don't forget to like the video, my brother. And thank you so much, Matt, for, uh, for coming out to Loose Line. Even though Hoppy picked you up. I appreciate it. I'm glad you found your phone too. <laughs> I like your pictures. It's hardcore classic. Oh, thanks, buddy. Chemo was supposed to be Bass Rudin's last fight, but Chemo tested positive for steroids. So Bass fought Ruben uh, Villarreal. Bass had Kevin James in his corner, the guy from the show King of Queens. That's amazing. Well, Bass Rudin was a character. In um, Here Comes the Boom, which was like Kevin James MMA movie. And we have a new member. Thank you so much for becoming an exclusive <laughs> member. Short Spotlight. Thank you so much, Short Spotlight. You now, if you go to the community tab, have access to our the community Discord. We're exclusive members. Even if you just become a member for, for one month, you will always get access to our Discord exclusive membership streams that we do once every week. You get the custom emojis and we're starting to do more fight interviews on the channel. I've banked two of them. I've banked two of them and you guys will get access to them 48 hours ahead of time. So thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and going above and beyond. I, like I said, I never ask people for donations. I never ask people to become members, but when you do, it's it, it, it helps Kyle and I, Kyle being the, co-creator of the channel so much and i appreciate it short spotlight thank you so much for the support brother i i cannot thank you enough gotta make back some of the money i spent at lupulin and keith and quick trip i might actually go to quick trip tonight for dinner i haven't eaten yet short spotlights is the man 
My rematch with the folding table will be legendary. <laughs> Uh, you said uh, you said you're doing a membership stream, so I thought we'd check it. Oh yeah, I don't know how busy it's gonna be tonight because usually we do them Tuesday. Ooh, a nice left hook by Chemo there. Um, but uh, the membership it's it's kind of like I'll bring kind of like a little topic, more kind of like a podcast format. I bring a topic, a couple a uh, topic, a couple stories, and then whoever of the exclusive members can join us. Uh, it's basically just like a free for all Q and A. It's your guys' stream, so if you want to talk UFC, if you want to talk MMA, hell, if you want to talk anything in the world of sports or life, like well, within reason, <laughs> then uh, yeah, it's, it's for you guys. We try to them. We try to do them every Tuesday at around eight o'clock Eastern time. I was busy last night and uh, tonight, like I said, unfortunately I have some, I had some things to do personally and we're doing this live stream, but we always do the membership streams either every Tuesday or Wednesday. I announce them ahead of time and I will announce them ahead of time in the discord channel as well. Appreciate you shorts. Appreciate you. I don't mind to wait for those interviews on YouTube. What time is it on uh, Pacific slash Eastern? So tonight's a late one. It's 11 o'clock Eastern. And my apologies for it being a late one. Usually we do them around 8 p.m. Eastern. And we'll get back into that groove next week. This week is just a crazy week for me personally, guys. I mean, I had my... My podcast craft beer collaboration released yesterday. I have a whole live show tomorrow. And then um, blah, blah, blah. what else is going on? Friday, it's the Minnesota Hockey State Tournament. And Saturday is my buddy's birthday. So my schedule's kind of been out of the loop this week. But uh, yeah, man, that's kind of what we do here on the channel. How do I become a member? If you just go to the main uh, the main page of the channel, you can click join. Or I believe even, even on the video, you can click join as well. No problem. Unfortunately, Saturday, I will be bar hopping all day with my, my friend for his birthday. So I'm missing a ton of streams Saturday. Missing Glory. Missing UFC. So unfortunately, not uh, this weekend. We barely ever miss UFC, but um, I, I explained it in, uh, in uh, the community tab on the channel. Severin just checked that kick. Oh, the, the top right leg of Severin is starting to bruise up here. Chemo with a cut left side of his forehead. Oh, and a nice right hand by Dan Severin. Dan Severin's not wearing any damage on his face right now. Chemo's breathing heavily. 20-minute round here, folks. 20-minute round here. So yeah, average fight fan. My apologies for not being able to do the UFC stream this weekend. I can't even do, I, I can't even do Bellator. I wanted to do uh, Benson Henderson against Nurmagomedov. Can't do that one either. So I, basically, the streams that I have this, you know, on the on the schedule this weekend, those are the ones that I like. I could squeeze in. It's just been a crazy weekend. It's going to be a crazy weekend for me personally with all these uh, commitments that I've made ahead of time. But we'll get back into the groove of things and you better believe that we'll be streaming Leon Edwards, Kamaru Usman 3, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if anybody in this stream is from Minnesota, you can get the St. Cloud, you can get to St. Cloud this week, get to Lupulin Brewing and try Turney Flow. Yes, and I will show off my collaboration beer on the exclusive member live stream. No one gonna get Top my member Gifton. No, Mr. Grant Gregory giving out memberships like he's Oprah Winfrey. Oh my god, Mr. Grant Gregory just hooked Matthew up with a with an exclusive membership. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is amazing. And by the way, short spotlights. Mr. Grant and I are gonna be do doing are going to be doing collaboration videos on his channel for every UFC pay-per-view. And Mr. Grant Gregory is going to join my channel for live streams and my prediction videos whenever he can. But cannot wait to do more collaborations with you, Mr. Grant. You're an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for the don. I was going to say donation, but thank you so much for the exclusive memberships. You guys are amazing. Oh my god! Honestly, yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I was not expecting all this chatter, all these new memberships, all these new subscribers here tonight. Oh, beautiful left hand and some hammer fist on the feet by Dan Severin. 
I think Dan Severn's winning this fight, ladies and gentlemen, even though we know the outcome for it, but I think Dan Severn's winning this fight. Kimo, though, he is doing a lot of damage on the legs of Dan Severn. Oh, and a nice right hand, and he drops Kimo. And Dan Severn, being the wrestler that he is, has not really wrestled Kimo at all in this fight. He's gone for a couple takedowns, and credit to Kimo. Kimo has defended them. Kimo almost falling out of the ring there, so the officials are going to put them back on their feet. Kimo, a little bit of a welt in the center of his forehead where he was bleeding, and a little bit under his, I believe, left eye as well. Severn not wearing any damage on his face, only on his legs. Oh my god, Mr. Grant Gregory just gifted 10 memberships? Are you kidding me? Dude, Mr. Grant, you are way too kind, brother. You're way too kind. I can't believe I am speechless, dude. Oh my god. Wow. I'll tell you what happened in the UFC fight. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. I mean, we're going to be bar hopping, so I'm definitely going to be watching it. I wish I could be hanging out with you guys this weekend. Honestly, as much as the stuff I have going on is super awesome in my, you know, my personal life and my other projects that I'm doing and like my friend's birthday, Glory I'm missing. We are going to be doing the prelims for Glory, but we're missing Glory. We're missing UFC. So usually, guys, I do up to five, sometimes even six live streams on busy weekends like this one. But unfortunately, you know, I am a real human. I do have life commitments, and uh, this weekend it just happened that I was unable to uh, fill the schedule up with the good ones. However, though, check the community tab for the schedule. I am doing a ton of live streams as you know, as well. And we, we're doing a, a, a new kickboxing one on Monday. Wow, Mr. Grant. Wow. He would... Mr. Grant said he would double my gifted subs. What an absolute fucking legend. Look at that. No, I dared you. Wow. I wish I had a way to pay you back, bro. Hey, you keep joining this stream and watching the videos that I make with Mr. Grant on his channel. And I'm sure, I'm sure that's uh I'm sure that's some payback that Mr. Grant would want. And I and I say I said payback in the wrong context, but you folks know what I mean. Dang, Mr. Grant. Yes, standing O, tipping of the cap. By the way, I got this new hat from Waggle Golf. And I'm, I'm so pumped right now watching fights, hanging out with you guys. I'm sweating. I'm sweating through the hat brim right now. You didn't see it till now and you were confused yourself. I, I, am, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. 25 minutes. And is this fight just like going to... There's no rounds in this one. Again, Pride at this point wasn't a established promotion, folks. Pride was the name of KRS's event that they made for Takata and Gracie. So, like, fight by fight, I can't tell you off the top of my head, like, what the rounds are, what the rules are. This one's a mixed martial arts fight. However, there's no rounds in this one. It's just fight until someone drops or until, I guess, 30, 40, however much time goes by. I mean, we're watching VHS version of this fight. If you folks want to follow along, here is the link. And there's the shot, the single leg shot by Dan Severn. A beautiful takedown defense and stuffing of the takedown by Kimo. Again, we are at the one hour, 30 minute and 55 second mark of the stream, or sorry, of the Video, if you want to sync up with us, Dan Severn, his knee braces keep falling off here. And every time he tries to adjust them, Kimo walks in. Kimo landed a good left there. Dan Severn. Oh, nice low kick by Kimo. Dan Severn starting to slow down here. Dude, they've been fighting for 25 minutes. Dan Severn, 39 years old. These are absolute sad. I don't care if you're on the juice or not. Shit, Paulo Costa. He was a wee lad. He wasn't even on the juice yet. God, again, thank you so much, Mr. Grant. Wow. Wow, dude. Like, I can't believe you just gifting up memberships again. You're an absolute beauty. Mr. Grant paying it for Payback. Love that movie. Hey, that was a good movie. Hey, and that means now every new member, check the community tab and click the Discord link. You all now can join the Discord. And hopefully, if you guys are still up tonight, I know it's a late stream tonight for an exclusive membership. We do weekly exclusive member streams just for you guys. I'm going to take a break after this stream. I have to go pick up some gear for the live show that I'm doing tomorrow. And then I will be back for a late night exclusive membership stream. 
but typically we do them every Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on, you know, my schedule. And we do them at around 8 p.m. Eastern. So get into that groove. But I want to see a few of you there, if not tonight, next week for sure. That includes you, Matt. That includes you, Jelani. And, of course, our newest subscriber as well. It's more impressive being on the juice with that cardio. Absolutely. I mean, Kimo was 100% on the juice. Severin probably wasn't well, but Severin just got that... He still got that old man bod, whereas, you know, chemo is just absolutely ripped. Uh, these guys can't fight 20 minutes at today's pace. Absolutely not. But it's not like they're fighting at a slow pace. Now, again, like this is 1997. It's not at a crazy high pace, but they're still moving forward striking. Look at that. They each They each land a hook there. I'm still impressed. Inside low kick attempt by Kimo there. Again, if you're just joining us, one hour, 33 minutes and 15 seconds into the video if you want to sync up. Don't forget Yoel. He was on the juice when Jesus was alive. No gay Jesus. No gay Jesus. <laughs> Outside low kick, yeah, the Right leg of Dan Severn, the top part of his right leg is absolutely welted up right now, and he's still pushing forward. Nice uppercut by Dan Severn. Dude, Yoel Romero is like he he is the Yao Ming of Cuba. Like he was he was he was constructed in a laboratory. And Kimo with some nice shots here. Good uppercut by Dan Severn. Dan Severn hurt Kimo. Kimo's rubbing running away, and instead of Continuing to strike, Dan Severn's pulling him to the ground. Kimo holding on to the ropes right here. Holding on to the ropes. The official can't do anything about it, though. Dan Severn. Now Dan Severn yelling at the official, saying he's he grabbed the ropes and he negated my takedown. Sure, you need to text Isha about this. And oh, Dan Severn in the top position right now. Landing a nice shot, and Kimo's on the ground. Dan Severn in the side control, laying down some shots. Dan Severn, side control, laying down the ground and pound. Uh, you need to text Isha about this, and you need to clip it. Already clipped. And Whitaker schooled him twice. Dude, Robert Whitaker in, is, in my opinion, one of the most underappreciated fighters in the UFC. He's the closest thing we're ever going to see to another GSP. Damn, next time do it for the other members like me. Awesome, Grant. Dan Severn, for the, like... Oh, and that is it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. No, Dan Severn looks possessed right now. Just yelling to the audience. Crazy fight, folks. This went like, what, 25, 30 minutes? That's insane. Robert Whitaker is the division-only anti-wrestler. And it's, yeah, it's a majority draw, as, as we know, but I, I honestly thought that, like, Severin probably got the better of him. Robert Whitaker is so good at shutting down the wrestlers, and it's because that was his background. As you know, Mr. Grant Gregory, him being from the land down under. Wow, what this I love pride. And again, folks, this is the first ever pride again. So, like, they only get better. They only get better. And trust me, oh, once we get into like the double digit numbers, shit, even like Pride 8 was a good event. If I if, if memory serves me correct. Love the broadcast team of uh, Boss Rutin too. What is up, Tom? What is up? Hey, Tom, if you want to follow along here, buddy, here's the link. We are watching this video right now, and we are currently 1 hour 36 minutes and 45 seconds into this event. And we have, here we go, we have the fight in which this entire event was built around, ladies and gentlemen, Hickson Gracie against Nubuk. Noibuku, Noibiku Takada. 
And if you guys don't know the historical significance of this event, I highly recommend going to Napoleon Blown Apart's page and checking out his documentary on Pride. It is amazing. Hicks and Gracie, 6 0 going into this one. Uh, Nobuhiko Nakata was an actual, was an actually, and Andrew B, you'll love this. He was a very, very famous Japanese pro wrestler. He actually wasn't an actual fighter. But there was some drama between his camp and camp between Hicks and Gracie. They were calling each other out. I mean, a tale as old as time going back to the Japanese and Brazilian jiu-jitsu feud. And despite Takata usually fighting, you know, in fixed fights in Japanese pro wrestling, which didn't look like American pro wrestling, they looked like real fights, despite having the outcome already written, um, you know, he kind of was trolling. So look at that. Look at the young Hoist Gracie in his corner as well, in his uncle's corner. Unlike American, you know, WWE and things like that, it was very much hardcore. And Takata being one of the first ever real life trolls was trolling the Gracie camp. And uh, yeah, well, Hickson called him out and wanted to fight him. And eventually, and I'm not spoiling too much of the documentary, eventually Takata flew uh, to California and fought Hicks and Gracie in Hicks and Gracie's own gym. That's right. He fought Hicks and Gracie in his own gym. Hicks and Gracie didn't allow media or anybody and Hicks and Gracie beat the living shit out of Takata. And I remember what was the quote? The quote was, if we fight for money, um, I, I stop when you tap. If we fight, if we fight for pride, I stop when I feel like it. That is some bone chilling, bone chilling stuff right there. All right. So the Japanese and Brazilian national anthems are now being sung in the middle of the ring here at the Tokyo Dome. Again, shout out to everyone viewing. Shout out to Mr. Grant Gregory. Shout out to the new exclusive members. I can't wait to see you guys on the membership stream later tonight and or next week as well. If you're following along on this uh, stream, if you're following along on this video, we are currently at the one hour and 39, one hour, 39 minutes and 50 seconds. If you want to sync up with us. I think it was called the battle for family pride or battle of pride. And they changed it last minute. Uh, this is a great old crazy event. Fun to watch the Diego. I hope to see you on more of these. I'm glad that you guys like these rewatches because it's all about feedback. Obviously, I'm never going to replace the live events with these ones. We're just going to add more events. We're going to add more streams. I want to stream like I want to stream like at least five or six times a week, at least, folks. So we're going to start filling out the middle of the week with more of these streams. WWF before WWE. There's footage of that though, Isha. Eddie Bravo should, of course, Eddie Bravo showed it, dude. I gotta, I gotta watch that. Uh, WWF came first, I believe. They changed WWE in 2002. Oh, Hoyler Gracie. Oh my God, it looks so much like uh, Hoist. That's crazy. I mean, they're they were all so young, right? Do you do streams on Discord? I don't actually, I don't, but the discord is just for us to chat and we can always talk and hang out on the discord. And, you know, once I start getting back into some gaming, um, we'll definitely like do it through the discord. It's just like, basically what the discord is, is I don't care if you guys buy a membership for one month, a year, whatever, you will always have access to the discord with a one-time purchase of a membership here on the YouTube channel. And it's just, where like the community, us diehards, and you diehards of the City Life Project YouTube channel, which you all are amazing, can just always chat. Now, and I, and by being a Discord member, an exclusive member, you'll be able to get some of the content that we're going to be posting on this channel soon, especially fight inter fighter interviews. Um, I actually just linked up with Debella, the kickboxing champion of one championship right now, the half Italian, half Canadian. We're getting an interview set up, and you guys will get that. 48 hours early. I'll explain before I hang up the gloves here, but here we go. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Hicks and Gracie. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu against Japanese pro wrestling. 
Takada in the purple shorts. Takada, the Japanese legend. Gracie, calm, cool, collected right now and kind of a Muay Thai stance with his hands down, though. Man, I miss February because of Mardi Gras, one of my favorite holidays. Dude, I have some friends in Louisiana. They had, they've filmed some content, too. But yeah, I got some friends uh, who live in Louisiana. Hoyler Gracie, who Eddie Bravo choked out in the ADCC back in the early 2000s. Oh, should we do some of the old ADCCs as well? I know a bunch of those are on YouTube. I want to hear, guys, suggestions for some of the old, what are we going to call them, retro? The retro fight companions? We had a write-in for M1. We're going to be doing some WEC. We're going to be doing some Strike Force, And, of course, we're going to go through every single Pride event, folks. Takata running away from Hoyler. Or sorry, Hoyler, uh, Hicks and Gracie right now. Andrew wants us to do some ADCC. Yep, it is retro. Hicks and Gracie was going for the straight right jab there. Again, Takata, very much a pro wrestler, not a professional fighter. Although he will get, as we will see in some later streams, he will get some more time in Pride. One hour, 43 minutes, and 35 seconds into the video if you want to sync up with us, folks. Pride 8, I got to be on. Dude, I, well, we're going to do them all. We're going to fucking do them all, dude. I love Pride. I love Pride so much, folks. Straight, straight right jab and a knee stomp by Hicks and Gracie. Hickson Gracie comes in deep, and he's looking for the takedown now. Grabbing the single leg. He's got one under hook. Takata's grabbing the rope. Hickson Gracie yelling at the official. The official separates them. I have not, buddy, but you know what? I will check it out. I will check it out tonight. I promise you that. Sorry I haven't checked it out yet. It's been such a busy week for me. And I'll run down everything that I've been going that's been going on this week and the reason why I'm I'm not doing some of the main big MMA events this weekend. I hope you guys can forgive me. But we do have some stream. It's not like I'm I was almost not gonna stream at all because I'm so busy this weekend. I said, fuck that. Fuck that. I want to hang out with you guys. So that's why I did this one, our first retro one, and we got a couple other ones as well slated. And we are on the ground now. Hicks and Gracie with the double leg slam takedown in the center of the ring. Right into side control here. Uh, you don't have to stream it, but watch some Paul Gallon fights. He fought Mark Hunt. Yeah, dude. And by the way, for those who are in our Discord, you can send me links, videos. We can all talk about fights and, and, and everything else. So thank you for all the exclusive memberships that have been bought and given out tonight we're just growing our community and our discord as well because i don't care if you're just a member on the channel for one month or a year you will always have access to the discord do some logan paul fights i might push back on that one takata is the president of ryzen now yep that is true that is true full mount for hicks and gracie on takata right now and he's punching him in the body as Takata's holding down the head of Hicks and Gracie. Shots to the body. Takata tried to push him off him. Hicks and Gracie still in the full mount. Takata just holding on for dear life. Wrapped around the body of Hicks and Gracie. Again, this is the fight. that This fight, this matchup, is how Pride FC was born, ladies and gentlemen. This is a historical fight right here. This moment was such a pivotal moment in history for mixed martial arts. It's, it's insane. It, it truly is insane. Again, folks, if you want to watch the final moments of this event. Oh, and Hicks and Gracie's got, a, got an armbar. He's got an armbar and Hicks... Ah! And Takata taps... Hicks and Gracie in the full mount, laying down the ground and pound. And he goes, yeah, you know what? I could I could throw shots to the body. No, I'm going for jujitsu. I'm going for the armbar. And look at all the Gracies. Henzo, Hoyler, the whole Gracie crew. And a beautiful armbar on 
Takata. I uploaded a Happy Tree Friends reaction and other vids. All right, well, I'll check them out after this, buddy. By the way, guys, you like my new hat? Shout out Waggle Golf for hooking me up with a parrot hat. I love this shit. Trivia for you. Which person who fought on Pride 1 defeated Kazushi Sakuraba by arm triangle? Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Shoot, I should know this. I should know this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It wasn't Hickson, was it? No. I don't know. I feel like a fool. I don't know, Mr. Grant Gregory. Educate me. Retro fight companion, the fight vault companion, or classic fight companion, whatever we call them, they're awesome. Those are some great names. You know, I'll make a poll question. I'll make a poll question. And uh, we'll be, it will, maybe on the next one, I'll we'll make a poll question. We can help name them. But that's it for the event, folks. That is it for the event. Pride one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I'll stay on a few more minutes here. I'll stay on a few more minutes and talk to you guys. Don't worry. But uh, average fight fan and, and those in the chat, did you like this? I mean, any excuse to jump on and just hang out with each other on a live stream, but do you like the element of watching a retro fight as well? I had a lot of fun. You guys know I swoon for pride. I love pride. And this won't be the end of pride. No, 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 no. Pride may be done in real life, but the next retro pride event that we do, hell, maybe even next week, hell, maybe even next Wednesday will be pride FC two, which actually took place a year later when pride became a, an actual promotion. Cause again, this event, this fight was actually named Pride. It was put on by KRS to host the Hicks and Gracie Takata fight to end the feud. Retro fight companion, the fight vault companion, or classic fight companion. Which one do you guys like the most? Let me know in the live chat right now. Anyways, on Saturday, I'm going to play in a bocce tournament. Then going to a baseball game, Boston versus the Twins. Hey, shout out the Minnesota Twins. So it's all right with me for... But we're going to Missy. Well, I will be doing an early stream in the morning. Only two or three fights. I'm just going to be doing the prelims for glory. Then I'm then I'm going to head out for my buddy's birthday. And we're doing a bunch of bar hopping. No way. It was, it was chemo? See, I, I, I should have went with my gut. I was going to say chemo or I was going to say Oleg. Wow. I like your hat. It looks cool and sick, bro. I appreciate it. I'm usually a guy who wears his hats backwards, but for some reason, these waggle hats, and they ain't paying me to say this. They ain't paying me to say this. I absolutely love them. Uh, waggle golf. They have the best golf and or just like office, you know, work casual apparel. Um, get your waggle on .com. If you guys want to go see some of the cool shit that they have, I just threw the link in the description. That's crazy. Dude, Sakuraba fought killers, man. Sakuraba fought killers. Uh, by the way, if you don't know, I'm moving to Tennessee after high school for my college. And after that, I will move to the sunshine state of California. Dude, Tennessee's going to be fun. Go, Tennessee Vols. All right, folks. So that about does it. The fight vault. Andrew likes the fight vault. Okay, I kind of like that too. I kind of like that too. Um, so anyways, folks, just, just to give you the rundown here, just to give you the rundown, I'm going to apologize again and I'll apologize on the community tab and everything like that, but I'm unable to do some of the big fights this weekend. I'm unable to do some of the big fights on Thursday and Friday, as well as, you know, yesterday, and I was, I was unable to do the member stream yesterday. Yesterday, I was actually at the big beer week at a brewery here locally called Lupulin as we did a beer collaboration with them and our beer, my podcast beer with the, uh, with the brewery um, was on tap for the first time yesterday. And they gave us a couple uh, cans of it as well as it, it was a limited release. It was an amazing IPA. And so I was there, you know, testing it and, and hanging out with the, with the whole brewery. And there was an event that was going on um, tomorrow. I am hosting a, a, a live event for my podcast at a brewery where we're doing a live podcast Q and a um, prepping for the Minnesota state tournament Friday from 9am to midnight. I'm going to be drinking. I'm going to be watching hockey. So I'm missing all fights that day. And then Saturday it's my uh, roommate's birthday and we're going on a big like uh, pub crawl. So I will wake up early Saturday to do the prelims of glory kickboxing 
But other than that, we're going to be doing a WEC, re- WEC retro live stream, early WEC. And then Monday, we're going to be doing a Romanian kickboxing promotion. Um, let me just hop on YouTube and actually... I can tell you guys exactly what it is. Give me one second. We'll just go over the schedule quickly here before we hang up the gloves here. And in about an hour, hour and a half, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump back on and do a late night membership stream. Sorry it wasn't yesterday. Sorry it wasn't earlier. Again, my schedule is crazy this week. It kind of c'est la vie, as they say, in France, in Quebec. Um, it's, it, it's, it's just the way it is this week, folks. My apologies. Hopefully, we'll bring more contributors on this channel down the road. So if any you know, scheduling stuff happens. Maybe we'll be able to have more faces on the channel to do these. But okay, so here is the schedule. Saturday morning, we're going to be doing the Glory 84 prelims. Sunday, we're going to be doing DFS, which is a Romanian kickboxing promotion. Um, I actually have a link for that one that I can send you guys on Discord and in the chat um, on Saturday when, when we're doing Glory. So Sunday, we're going to be doing DFS 18. And then Monday... We're going back to the vault. WEC2 Clash of Titans, which originally aired October 4th, 2001. And that one is available on Fight Pass if you want to follow along for that one. Was UCLA your dream college? No. I went to my dream. No. No. (laughs) I'm Canadian, so none of the state's colleges were my dream college. Uh, I went to the University of Victoria. I loved it. It was a great campus, right on the water, right on the beach. Can't complain. Uh, I hear UCLA is nice, though, but no. When I, I'm a musician, so when I was a kid uh, in, into blues music and stuff, I thought Berkeley would be a cool option, but like, and I realized like I'm not that good of a musician to ever study at Berkeley. But uh, no, I hear USC, US, or UCLA is sweet, but no, I went to the University of Victoria. Shout out, UVic. I'm a, UV, I'm a proud UVic Vikes alumni, my man. This was great. What about highlighting highlighting fighters, show, showing a few of their fights, wins and losses? Uh, I did Carlos Condit a few weeks ago, and it was fun, especially when you forget about how the fights play out. Absolutely. My apologies for not doing more of a, a rundown on the fighters. And hell, I might even just do more just single videos highlighting fighters on the channel as well. And uh, even on the membership stream, we can do those too. But great suggestion. Again, I just want feedback, folks. I just want feedback from you guys because uh, you guys go above and beyond to support this channel. And I, I, I want to give you the content that you want. Sunday morning. Well, good luck, Isha. Good luck to you too, brother. It's great to see you back in the live chat, Tom. You all, you, you're you amazing, brother. I will check out your videos tonight um, before I go to bed, I promise. I'll give you that, Isha. I'm all right about it. Andrew, you're awesome as well. I appreciate you. As we do on every single stream, folks, I'm going to give everybody everybody a shout out here. Andrew B, shout out to you. City of Sunshine, my boy Tom, shout out to you. Average Fight Fan, thank you so much for joining. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you suggested us doing these live streams and we're going to be doing them every single week now. Um, shout out to Diego. Hope you're doing better, Diego. Sending nothing but good vibes to you. Mr. Grant Gregory, thank you so much for everything you do, for for allowing me to collaborate on your channel, for collaborating on my channel, for being an exclusive member, for handing out exclusive memberships like your freaking Oprah Winfrey. You're amazing. What did I say? Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. You're amazing. I appreciate you so much. Honestly, I can't wait for our next collab next week, dude, when Leon Edwards defends the belt against Kamaru Usman at the O2. For UFC 286, Uh, shout out Jelani, our newest exclusive member. I hope to see you later on the exclusive membership stream or next week. Man, I can't wait to do some ADC classic ADCCs from like the 90s as well on this channel. Um, Shout out to Matthew. Thank you so much, Matthew. I appreciate you, buddy. Shout out to our newest member and subscriber, short spotlight thank you so much it's great to have you part of this community just wait till you see when we do some of the our live events especially some of our big one championship ones when we have like hundreds of people in the live chat thank you so much for supporting the channel man i honestly it's it's amazing i i didn't think there'd be anybody here tonight and let alone getting new members let alone you guys sticking around the whole time you're awesome uh, shout out living with H. Thank you so much for joining as always, buddy. And shout out to Mr. Big Wig, Majid, AG, Lig, Vietnam, Ham Jam, Fig, Stig for the $20 
I don't know if it's dollars or not. It could be yen. Who knows? But thank you so much for 20 of whatever currency that you're throwing my way, brother, and for subscribing to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Honestly, I'm saving up for a new monitor, guys. Saving up well for an additional monitor. I want one to hang over on this side, too. And you guys are really helping me out. Shit, I, I honestly used some of my YouTube money last month to pay rent. So, like, this is what I want to do full-time, you know, and sometimes the day job, sometimes, you know, my other podcast stuff get in the way, but, like, we're working towards that. We're working towards that. Hopefully by the end of 2023, we're at 10,000 subs. Hopefully by the end of 2023, we can, you know, I can start doing this full time with more streams and things like that and uh, continue to give you guys the content that you want. But adding more streams throughout the week, these retro streams, I mean, it's just going to get, it's just going to get more content out there for you guys. So hopefully that helps grow the channel as well. Um, as we continue with the shout outs here, shout out to Benjamin. Thank you so much, Benjamin, for joining. I mean, uh, Takashi Trump. Thank you so much, Benjamin, as always, for stopping by. I said average fight fan. I said Diego. Shout out to you, Diego. We're, we're still praying for you, buddy, as you recover from your accident. Craig Crowley, my fellow Canadian. Craig, I had this waiting. Thank you so much for joining, Craig. You're an absolute beauty. Uh, Shane, another fellow Canadian. My boy, Shane. Thank you so much for joining, Shane. I appreciate it. Shane, also an exclusive member on the channel. Um, but look, Sinus, what's up, Sinus? Thank you so much for joining, Sinus. I appreciate it. Eddie Rodriguez joined us here today as well. Thank you so much, Eddie Rodriguez. Uh, Counterfactual United News Team. He's new subscriber here on the channel. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. I appreciate you too. Uh, Jaden, my boy, Jaden. I, did, <laughs> I didn't mean any disrespect earlier, Jaden, by the way. Uh, as we were talking about Invicta, I was just teasing you, buddy. I appreciate you stopping by here. Uh, Sean Butcher, the peanut butter man himself, dropped by. Thank you so much, Sean, for dropping by as well. Grave Digger Jones. Thank you so much for dropping by as well, Grave Digger Jones. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Atta Boy, the Turkish Lima. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, Atta Boy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Theo Gate, thank you so much for joining. Uh, Brian, thank you so much for joining as well. Brian, Brian and Brittany, huge supporters of the channel. You guys are awesome. Zoomer loyalist. It's been a while since Zoomers joined a full live stream. It was good to see you stop by today, Zoomer. It's always good to have you part of the stream, Zoomer. Thank you so much for joining. And that is it for everyone who has commented in the live chat here today. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I haven't been feeling well because I can't couldn't stop coughing. Hopefully I don't have the the virus. YouTube doesn't like when we say the name of that. Hoping that you feel better, buddy. Oh man, you didn't have to do this average fight. And this was a fun one, brother. Can't wait for WEC2. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, average fight fan. Thank you so much, brother. Honestly, you didn't have to do that. You guys know I'm never gonna ask for donations. I'm never gonna ask you guys to become members, but when you do, if you do. You have no idea how much it means to me and how it goes a long way to either help us fund some of the new gear that we need, either new cameras, webcams, myself a monitor, and or literally help pay our rent, both Kyle and I. So it, it goes such a long way, dude. And I, I can't say thank you enough. $2, $1, it doesn't matter. It all helps so much so i appreciate you roid rage what's going on roid rage we're just ending the stream right now roid rage but just to give you a quick recap i'm going to start streaming more on this channel every week in addition to the live you know play by play and live fight companions that we do for the live events on the weekends we're going to go back into the vault and do some old events too. We started with Pride 1. We're going to be doing uh, WEC 2 on Sunday. And then we'll continue next week to do Pride 2. We'll do some old M1. Uh, we'll do some old Strike Force. What do you guys think before we leave? Retro Fight Companion, the Fight Vault Companion, or Classic Fight Companion? Sleep on it. Sleep on it. Um, I'm actually just going to do a screenshot here so that I don't forget about it. And in the membership stream later and in our Discord, I'll continue to ask you guys um, so you guys can choose what this additional live stream segment series will be called. Shane likes the vault. Okay, okay. I I'll, I'll write down also like how many votes we get for each one. 
um, so that when we get to the WEC one, we will have a name for it. And it's sweet because if you guys have Fight Pass like Shane, you can follow along with some of these retro ones, especially the Zufa leagues like Strike Force and WEC that they bought out as well as Pride. But that's it for me here, folks. I got to run. I got to go pick up some of my uh, live show gear from my buddy at the Soda Pod. If you haven't already, check out my podcast, The Soda Pod, wherever you get your podcast from. It is pronounced The Soda Pod, but it is spelt The Soda Pod. Go check it out. We have a YouTube channel as well, The Soda Pod, and we're on any podcast app you have. And last but not least, guys, Kyle Mudge. Yes, the co-creator of this channel, the one who does all the music content. His new album is coming out. His new album is coming out. So if you haven't already, in the description of all the videos that we post, I have the links to his music. Follow him on Spotify or Apple Podcasts so you don't miss any of his singles that are dropping on his new album. Always want to pump that. Kyle is the brains behind this entire YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm the face. I talk with you guys. I watch fights. I do the fun stuff. Kyle's the one that does everything behind the scenes. And we're using this channel to obviously pump his music. So whether it's the music vlogs of his or mine that you like that I've filmed of him or the recording vlogs he has, check out his music as well, folks, on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Again, shout out to you, Average Fight fans. Shout out to you, Mr. Grant Gregory. Shout out to you, uh uh, shorts spotlights and shout out mr big wig majid ag lig vietnam ham jam fig stig you guys are the best that's it for me tonight i will see you folks on the membership stream in a couple hours if you can't make this late night one i totally understand like i said this week of mine is a little crazy usually we don't do late night streams usually i'm not super busy throughout the weekends usually this is my weekend but hey say la vie as we say that's life I, I had some previous commitments and it is what it is, but that doesn't mean we're not going to be streaming. Check the schedule, check the community tab, and uh, I'll remind you folks on the exclusive membership stream as well. For everybody else, we will see you live Saturday morning for Glory 84. Cannot wait to do more retro or in the vault live streams here on the channel and some of the live ones this weekend. That's right for Glory, for DFS, and uh, have fun watching UFC and all these great promotions, folks. I wish I was able to watch them with you. But that's it for me tonight. I'll see you folks in a couple hours on the exclusive member live stream and Saturday morning for glory. Peace. You guys are amazing. I'm out of here.